Hi, Achim Schlöffel, Inner Space Explorers. That's basically the sum up of all answers to the last video, the DR misconceptions. And uh, it was pretty funny. I mean, first of all, I'm, I was super happy with the um, with all the comments and everything. It was I didn't didn't think that there was so much appreciation. Um, but I had a good laugh on, on some of the of the answers because you could see exactly who felt kind of insulted on this and uh, the <laughs> a lot of people missed the point of it um, there was this one comment that said yeah but let me dive how I want if I have fun <laughs> Jesus <laughs> dive whatever you want I don't care um, I just have the bad feeling that we breed this special type of DRR Nazis, if you want to call it like that, that just turn the initial concept into the wrong direction. I mean, when you think about it, initially that was developed by cave divers that had a minimalistic approach that thought about what can we take off from our dive gear to make it more simple, more easy to handle, more streamlined, and in the end, safer and more fun. And there was this one person that said, yeah, but I mean, why would I dive wet and without gloves if, it, if it's cold where I live? That's not what I said. So take what you need to have a safe, enjoyable dive. Um, there's a funny example. I recently uh, had some business in Spain and it was no intention to dive or whatever, it was just, just a business trip. And I met this guy who apparently had a dive center and asked me on the weekend to just come by and, and join him on a dive. So I went there and obviously that was not a DRR center and it was just a regular recreational scuba center. But the guy was super nice and he asked me if I want to join him for a dive. So I just took some rental gear from him, a wetsuit, a normal BCD, a normal regulator from the shelf and we swam around in, I don't know, 15, 18 meters of water around this rock, watch a couple of funny fish, hang out a little bit in the blue, afterwards sitting on the boat, having a cup of tea, watching the sunset, and it was a fucking great day. And that's the point of it. That's basically the definition of it. I took what was available and allowed me to do a safe, enjoyable dive. Of course I would have enjoyed to take my backplate and my single rig and my regulator with my hoses that have the right lengths and all of this, no question about it, it was not available. So the decision I had to make was, is it still safe to do the dive, yeah, 15 meter dive in the Mediterranean, I think I can handle that, even in a BCD. But there were these people that afterwards asked me like, oh, you go, how could you do this, this is not DIR, this is blah. Oh, f don't know shit about DIR if you come up with something like that. That's not the point, completely not the point. Yeah, uh, anyway, um, I think you probably now understand even a little bit better what I wanted to say. So I didn't want to insult anybody, so dive whatever you want, five stages, ten stages and two meters of water if you feel happy with it. The point is that this is not what the DR principle originally was about and I got the feeling that a lot of people have big misconception and this group is growing and I personally think that this is wrong. And a story, full stop, have a nice evening, see you next time, bye bye.